Hey guys, welcome back to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to install WordPress in your Mac using Lion operating system and MEM server. So first step is you're going to type in MEM in Google search. MEM. It should be number one of Google and then you can click that link and you will see that now you can see download now button. Click on that and hit OK to download it. Okay, we are now almost done and I hope it's going to be soon. Now it's extracted and after it's extracted you will see file called mem.pkg. You're going to double click it to install mem. Now you are in mem installer. Click continue to install and continue and you can read the toss and you can choose even the language. I am now choosing English and hit continue and agree the agreement and here you see the customize button you're going to click once to customize it you see that now we are going to install mem and mem pro since i don't want to install mem pro because we have to buy it i just tick it off and then going to hit install button and now you're going to type in your mac password and now we we are in installation um, process. Right now uh, we are done with installation so when I just hit close button and close this and I'm going to move this uh, file to trash any again since I don't need it and then now we're going to uh, go to finder and then application and we should see mem folder over there and yes it's there and then we're going to click it and then go to htdocs and you see it's still empty. We have now to uh, download WordPress. So the next step is going to type in WordPress in Google search. It's there and you see that uh, now WordPress download is in the second page, uh, in the second line. Going to download it, hit download button and hit OK. When it's done, download, you see, you will see um, that WordPress folder is there. Now we're going to move this WordPress folder to htdocs folder. Click, select it and drag and drop. You see now this WordPress folder is sitting here. So now I always recommend that you don't, don't just leave it as WordPress. You're going to rename it something. So in this case, I'm going to rename it as uh, my website so I'm going to rename it as um, web6 web6 blog for example right and then hit enter so now the name of the folder is web6 blog now I'm going to um, close the other window that I don't need next is we're going to open mem server go launch your launchpad and then click it was wrong click I don't want automator to uh, show quit automata so sorry for the disturbance so now we're going to open launchpad again and look for your mem now it's starting right you see that now I am right directed uh, immediately to the mem start page and if I don't want that to happen you can actually edit the preference click on preference once and go on start or stop tab and then here you're going to disable it to so disable the start page on startup but since I want to see it that's that's okay for me I'm going to take it on and if you want to check for mem impro when starting mem you're going to tick this on as well but since I don't want to check mem pro when I'm starting my mem I just do tick it off okay hit okay and it will restart the mem and now, since the buttons are all green, we are ready and we are connected uh, to localhost. Now we are going to PHP my admin. So click on PHP my admin tab. You see that now we don't have any database. So we are going to create new database and I want to name it uh, like my site folder. For example, web6 db or web6 blog db and then hit create button 
And now the database is created. Next is we're going to add a user to this database. So we're going to click on Privileges tab and add new user. And here username, uh, let's say I'm going to type in web6 blog user. Uh, the password, sorry, the host, we're going to choose local. And now password, we're going to type in the password. Right? And then database for user, you choose grant all privileges on this database and global privileges, going to select check all and hit go. And then now, uh, basically we've created the database and add that user. So now next is we're going to go to our uh, site, which is uh, going to type in HTTP smicolon slash slash and localhost and then semicolon and going to uh, type in 8888 and slash and then the folder of WordPress that you want uh, this folder to be your site files folder. Um, you remember I renamed that folder as web 6 blog and hit enter. If everything is fine you're going to see this uh, error file and uh, create a configuration file button. Now you can click that button and hit let's go. The database name, uh, if you don't remember, you're going to mem again and you see that web6 block db is there. That is my database. And then username, my username was, go to privileges again. You see this is the uh, username, so web6 block user. Right, and my password was this one. You cannot take a look over there. You just have to remember what it was. If uh, if uh, it seems that you cannot remember it, you just uh, write it down somewhere or or copy and paste in uh, text edit. So my password was web six pass. I hope it's right one. And database host is local host. That's fine. And table prefix. Now uh, we should get used to uh, change this. For example, like wp. Uh, B sex, uh, hmm, the number, whatever, and then hit submit. And now we've done with uh, all of those stuff. Now we can run the installation process. And now we are ready to install WordPress. Just have to uh, type in some things here. Site title, always your keyword, my keyword, and username. Choose a unique name, for example, like now I'm going to type in give me web6. And my password is um, uh, this is actually a bad example. If you want to type in password, you should uh, see, uh, you should type anything until you see green button here and say strong. But th for this demo, it's okay for me, it's just uh, this week password, but choose any password that it says strong. And my email address. Right? And since it's localhost, I don't want Google to index my site, so I just tick this uh, button off. And then now uh, going to hit install WordPress. Login. And my username was uh, Kimi Web6, my password. Login. Now we are in WordPress 3.3.1, the latest version. And if you want, you can check your site and everything is just fine. Now you can try WordPress locally in your um, Mac powered by a Lion or operating system. So that's all guys for today. Take care of yourself and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.